Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Now, in 2024, I made an oath to myself that I really wanted to bring a lot more, uh, a lot more material to my channel, which would help people in terms of motivation, in terms of positivity, in terms of really concentrating on actually that you are the individual, you are amazing, no matter what in this world, no matter what you're dealing with, you have an amazing uh, path ahead of you, and you are incredible because there is only one of you, and you are a true blessing. Okay, from that point, okay, I absolutely know that all of us at one point or another, perhaps quite frequently in our life, all suffer with periods of low mood, stress, anxiety, and it can really get you to a position where you're really bogged down, you don't necessarily know which way to turn. And believe you me, I have been in those situations throughout my life, throughout my adult life, and throughout my teenage years, and I can relate. For me personally, I don't mind being very open about that. Um, throughout my teenage years, I had a lot of health problems start throughout into my 20s, and now being 30. It's been a constant. It's been a constant. So I've had to grow up. I've had to evolve. Uh, some would say probably much more quicker than what probably a child should. Um, but I've been blessed with an amazing upbringing. I've been blessed with the family which the Lord gave me. Um, and I have amazing people around me. But it has been difficult and it has been tough. Now, what I'm trying to get across to people, and when I speak to people around me, and when I speak to friends and people who I just generally know as acquaintances from my work, I've, um, I've uh, had um, great experiences from working in retail banking, so all of the people who I used to serve, lots of people are very, very uh, are great, and I'm very still very fond of them, and I talk to them all the time and follow their journey and what's going on in life. So I'm always talking to people, and I think that is, that's always going to be part of me. I love talking to people, I love being connected with people, and that I would always suggest is a huge, um, a huge tool for anybody who suffers with stress or anxiety or worries, or just generally feels quite low, and often finds it a struggle to to kind of handle just everyday life when there's so much going on. Because let's be honest, we've all been through something, we're all going through something, and there is things probably ahead of us, which is just as well we don't know what's going to happen. Um, and a lot of us kind of sometimes, unfortunately, can be kind of absorbed by that stress and worry. And rather than us being that amazing individual where there's only one of us in this world, unfortunately, sometimes we get absorbed by stress and worry. And we can almost not necessarily start to give our own true self away. And sadly, some people stop enjoying life. They stop enjoying the blessing of the life they've been given because they're so absorbed and so preoccupied with stress and worry. And it's hard. You know, it's a hard situation. And I like to always try to turn that round, and I always try to say to people, do you know what, why should life be easy? When people say, with all of this going on, I've spoke to different people before, and they say about life being easy, anything worthwhile in this life, we have to all work hard for it. Why would something so incredible, something such a blessing, be easy? And I think there's so many different ways that we can look at this, but anything which gets us into that mind frame. We always have to break it down. Never ever, if you imagine this huge mountain of stress, worry and anxiety, we should never try to take it on as the full mountain. We should always break it up straight away and do a few steps at a time. I've recently done a clip where if you're worrying and stressing, let's do it day by day. And if you can't do it day by day, do it by several hour sections or do it by morning, afternoon and evening. But with that being said, do you know what? I think the greatest thing of all is staying connected. As we've mentioned and we've touched on about talking, myself, I've struggled with periods of worry and stress and anxiety. And just to give you a little bit more of an insight, back in May 2021, on the 31st, I lost someone so, so dear to me. And part of my heart, to be quite honest with you, when this person left the world and... Um, She's with me always, and uh, she's always here, and she's my dear nan, and she will always be my dear nan. And um, I looked after her, uh, and I stood by her throughout her journey of Alzheimer's, and it was hard, it was difficult, but do you know what? I only wish I could have ever done more. I was there, but I only ever wish I could have done more. And whatever the outcome would have been, I just always wish I could have done more. Um, 
But you know what? It really, really made me realise that all of my worries, all of my stresses, to be honest, why? When this beautiful, incredible lady went through all of what she went through, having done all of the good she'd done throughout her whole life, and yes, she was blessed with a very long life, and I lost my nan at the age of 95, but how she went out of this world, and I was with my nan when she passed away, and when she took the hand of the Lord, um, and when she let go of ours, how, just how she left this world, just, I, I can never get over, and I never will get over, and I always said to myself after that, that I would never stress, I would never worry, when somebody so incredible left the world the way they did, where on earth do I stress and why do I worry? And you know, sadly, even though we go through those things, you slowly get back into the habits, because of course work being the pressure, daily life being the pressure, and it's easy that when you are absorbed by stress and worry, whatever, whether it be relationship, whether it be financial, whether it be family, whether it be children, siblings, whether it be grandparents, mum, dad, whether it be relationships, whether it be if you've got enough money to be able to do something at the end of the week, whether you've not got enough to be able to get you through to payday, whether you are going through a new job, perhaps you've lost your job, perhaps you can't keep up with bills for a house on the mortgage. Everybody is going through something. But you know what? I often find that when stress and worry absorbs us, it almost sucks us into this channel, which we almost lose the ability to be able to see out. It's almost like somebody is turning the light off or dimming the light and that you're only absorbed and you can only see you and the stress and the worry. So my key to that is to stay connected. Do you know what? One of the things I stay connected with and how I stay connected is, you know what, is I watch the news. And do you know what? Anybody who says this to me, why do I have to do that? Well, my family has had a lot of tragedy, but we've got through it. And I do truly feel always here that every storm passes. And yes, it can be horrible and sometimes it can last for weeks. But do you know what? When that storm passes, another beautiful blessing bright horizon follows and there is light in the darkest of times and do you know what i've lost somebody do you know what? and i think of i think of my nan every single day it's my mum's mum and i think of her every single day my dear nan and she is always with me but do you know what even when we had her funeral and i gave my nan's eulogy that actually do you know what there was there was still a light there was still that little glimmer of light in the most bleakest, horriblest situation and heartbreaking situation that actually, do you know what? Yes, it hurt here, but Nan took the hand of the Lord and all of that confusion and her mind and the cloudiness, what she dealt with for such a long time disappeared and she went back to being her. And she left me with some beautiful memories, the teachings of her life, and so many incredible things, photographs, things which were hers, which to other people wouldn't mean very much, but to me, they mean the world. My friend, when you go through the darkest of situations, it can take you sometimes weeks, maybe a couple of years, to find that there was a glimmer of light. And that kind of almost pearl of essence of kind of magic or treasure, it sees you through. It really, really does. Do you know what? What I would always say as, is that we just have to keep going. We have to keep going. And you know, and, and when, in all of this going on, my nan taught me incredible, incredible things to the point where I made a section of my room of all different frames. And one of them is her teachings to me. And you know what? Whilst throughout looking after her, this didn't come to me. It came to me when I delivered my nan's eulogy. And the first thing was to always work hard. Next to keep going no matter what. Next, always look your best. Next, family is everything. And you know what, when I say that to you, on top of that, stay connected because stress and worry does absorb us and it almost shuts the door on us and we're left in that room of stress and worry and anxiety. But you know, something happened to me this week where just through watching the news and you see how unstable the world is of which we live in today. And you hear of people who are dying through tragedies, through stabbing. There was somebody who I followed um, 
and they lost their life yesterday and left a young family behind. And do you know what? At the age they were at, at any age, it was horrific. And I thought to myself, do you know, in my prayers yesterday evening, I said to the Lord, and do you know what, Lord, even in this tragedy, you still show me goodness that, do you know what? I have nothing to worry about. And that if I have faith in you and you show me the way and I embrace that way, that there will, there is nothing. I live in perfection harmony. There is nothing for me to worry about when people go through grief and tragedy and horror of what some individuals and some poor families have to go through. That lifts me out of if it's depression, if it's that bleak mindedness, if it's low mood. So if you're feeling like that, do you know what? Take just a 30 minute window and actually sometimes just switch on the news because do you know what the world we live in with all of the horrificness which goes on around us day to day, there is something which mark my words friend that when you listen to it, you'll think, wow, even it could be somebody not having somebody and sometimes just for watching something or even picking up the paper or listening to what's going on around and having conversations with what's going on around. And, you know, and I've done this a couple of times. If you walk down your local high street and you see somebody who's less fortunate and on the streets, just saying good morning just saying hello, just acknowledging that they are still a person, no matter what, if they haven't got a home in full of all different wonderful things in, in lavish clothes and fragrances, that is very, very meaningless. It's fantastic if you've got it, but when that person says hello back to you and you look in their eyes and you see the emptiness of what that person's going through, you then see that actually you are truly blessed. And I know that there will be some individuals which watch this and they'll think, do you know what? I'm going through something horrific and I'm not ready for all of that. That's fine because that storm will pass. And when it does pass and you're feeling down and you're feeling bleak, concentrate on those thoughts because you are blessed. You are truly, truly blessed in whatever you're going through. That's what I do. I stay connected to what's going on around me. Yes, it's important to stay in touch with family, loved ones, friends, but not just that. Sometimes come out of your family and look at the world, what we live in. Look at the fallen state of situations around us. That pulls me out of how I feel. Whether it's that or whether it's just being a little bit more vigilant over the people around you. Staying connected is extremely powerful, my friend. And on that note, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart of sharing this clip with me. And until next time, God bless, take great care of yourself, and I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.